Good afternoon, Ryan Schultz. Looking forward to this all day long. Our 620 CKRM Big Country Talent Show winner, Shantea Poulin, joins me on the phone. Shantea, how you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, I'm doing just fine, Shantea. How was school today? Um, well, it was good, I guess. <laughs> as good as school gets. <laughs> as good as at uh, the big old metropolis of Spiritwood up there, am I correct? Yep. Good stuff. And you're graduating when, Shantea? Um, well, I'm only grade 10 right now, so i got three years to, to go. Wow, grade 10. Wow, you're, you're, this is like Taylor Swift almost. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Now, you won the 620 CKRM Big Country Talent Show, Shantea. How did you get uh, going in music? What, what inspired you to pick up that guitar and start playing? Well, you know, my parents kind of knew ever since I was young, I guess, when my brother was taking lessons, saw me singing with my brother, and when I was three, they put me in lessons, and... Just ever since then, my cousin, my cousin Riley Siebert, just kind of got me playing guitar, and ever since then, just a love for music and wanting to share my music with everybody. Good stuff. How old were you when you wrote your first song? Oh, probably, I'm thinking nine or ten. <laughs> Do you remember what it was? Oh gosh, actually, no. I've I've written so many, and there's some that haven't yeah. even been finished, and. <laughs> Is that something that you really take pride in and you look and you really like doing is writing your own material, Shantea? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's a way to get, you know, you get an inspiration for a song. And I think it doesn't matter if you write a million songs about from that inspiration. Just, you know, take it and run with it, you know. So. For sure. Yeah, for sure. writing is my thing. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so this, how many times have you been in the 620 CKRM Big Country Talent Show, Shantea? Uh, this year was my second year. Wow, so yeah. awesome. So you've been in it as many years as I've been here, so that's so cool. Awesome. What was it like to, uh, Craven didn't really get to step on the stage, but you got to open up for the Bellamy Brothers. What was that like? That was a great experience, Ryan. That was, it yeah. was absolutely phenomenal. Got to talk with them down, like, you know, downstairs and, yeah in the Pump Road house, and they're just really down to earth and gave me some good advice, and it was an awesome opportunity that just had to run at, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. CCMAs are coming up. Are you going to be down there? I am going to be down there, hopefully mingle with some some artists and get some some uh, good information from songwriting cafes and yep. whatnot, So, and I'm looking forward to the awards. And we're looking forward to having you at FanFest. We'll be down there as well. It'd be awesome to get you on the air down there and uh, see you in person and do a little bit of an interview in person down there. Awesome. Now, your new single, we're going to debut it right now. We've been waiting for it, and I've been knocking on wood. She's going to send it right away. I know she's going to yep. do it right away. <laughs> Following you on Facebook, you know, it keeps you up to date nowadays with sh social media. For sure. Now, your song's called If You Would Just Listen. To uh, Describe the process in going into writing that song, Shantea. Okay, well, when I was writing this song, I really, I had an inspiration for just everyday life with the way society looks at people and the yeah. way people are judged. And, you know, bullying at school, it's its not a nice thing. No. And you just, you see it every day, and I know what it feels like to be bullied and judged, and I feel people kind of need to be aware of how others feel when they're being judged. And school, it's a, it can be a heck of a ride sometimes, and... It's just uh, about, you know, if somebody would actually listen, you know, and mm -hmm. that's the name of the song, if you would just listen and, you know, get to know me first. Yeah. You, you know, that that's how I was thinking when I went into writing the song. Good stuff, Shantea. So what does the future hold for Shantea Poulin? Well, I've been really busy recording, mm -hmm. and I'm really looking forward to more venues, and, you know, Christmas sort of gets... Everything starts to slow down. My brothers are in hockey and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> everything starts to slow down. So I'm waiting for spring for everything to start picking up again. Good stuff, good stuff. So uh, let's debut your song right now, Shantea. This is called If You Would Just Listen. How do we get a hold of you, Shantea, if we want a copy of the single or if we just want to keep up to date with you? Add me on Facebook or I'm on MySpace, Twitter, um, anything like that, I guess. <laughs> I'm I'm making a website soon, so everybody just keep in touch. Good stuff. Well, we're looking forward to that, and I'll be on top of it for you, Shantea. Awesome. And we'll let the folks know when you get your website going and everything that you're doing, okay? Thanks, Ryan. Thank you so much, Shantea Poole. And this is her new song. This is called If You Would Just Listen, the debut here on 620 CKRM. It's a perfect world, yeah, that's that. That you know me There's a whole other side of this girl That you can't see If you would actually listen To the silence of my thoughts Then maybe you would see The rude way that you come across There's a whole other side of this girl In a whole different world So Maybe you would know 
But you can't honestly say that you know me 